Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Thank you so much for all the subscriptions and all the comments and all the feedback. It's so much appreciated. Today I want to talk about uh, love, uh, but to give you an energy forecast uh, for love. And this pertains to the next three to four weeks. So I'm shooting this um, at the, in the first week of November. And these energies would have started already in at around... Um, uh, I think the end of October, like towards the, after the 20th of October, these energies would, would have been, uh, you would have been feeling this already. So there are various elements of this and this will not, um, not everything will apply to everyone. The overriding energy that I'm, I'm receiving is that people will seek to find boundaries or to establish boundaries with their partners. So whereas they may have tolerated certain things, especially people who have live in relationships or they married or they live together um, or they share spaces, these people will find that um, they feel a bit challenged by their partners. They feel that they may need to redefine the rules around the house or around the office or the space that they share. They may need to, they may find little things um, that irritate them about their partner, which hasn't happened before. They haven't felt this before. And it's largely a need to, um, as I mentioned, redefine boundaries. So it's to assess where you at with your partner and how you feel in your relationship. What is the push and pull? And where is it that you are okay? And where is it that you're not? And this where you, it is that you're not, you will begin to feel a degree of frustration and it may uh, manifest in you being irritable about something around the space that you share. It may also uh, manifest in a little tantrum. Um, so, this is one of the energies and the way in which to deal with this is simply to identify what it is that you need or where is it that your needs are not being fulfilled right now. This has less to do with your partner and more to do with you because your partner hasn't really changed over this time. Your partner is still the same, the person that they were doing the same things. It's just that you are becoming less tolerant of, their, of certain aspects of their behavior and you've got to ask yourself, what is it that you really do not tolerate? Do you not tolerate the, the, the dishes in the sink? Or is it something else about their attributes, about their uh, lack of consideration perhaps, that you uh, do not appreciate? And it's important to talk about this, perhaps not at the moment at which you are angry, but rather a, a week later or a few days later when things settle. So that is one of the energies that are com that's coming forth. The the sense that there's a need to redefine boundaries. There's a need to reestablish uh, respect within the relationship. Okay. One of the other feelings. Uh, one of the other ways that people will be feeling, and this more or less pertains to those people who are waiting to hear from from their partners, waiting to hear from people that they love, hoping to hear from people that they love. Well, what you might find is that uh, you might be in, a, be in a long time waiting. You might be prone to believing things that are not necessarily true or to be, uh, to be kind of swept up in a feeling of joy or hope. Um, you need to assess where your hopes may be false hopes, where you may be building up expectations uh, about a relationship or for a relationship or for someone um, where they are not, uh, where there's nothing really happening. So it's like, it's actually, it might be really hard to, to understand this or to be able to accept this, but it's really important for you to take a clean, hard, cold look at your situation and see what it is, see it for what it is, see the person that you're dealing with for what they are, see yourself for what you are in that relationship or in that dynamic that you are with that person. It's important for you uh, at this moment not to necessarily take um, um, things such as pick a card readings too seriously because the energy that, uh, that um, is prevalent at the moment is a very optimistic energy and it's it's a very buoyant energy and this can definitely manifest 
okay? But this won't, will only manifest if there's a certain amount of work done around the relationship or there's a certain vibration around the relationship. And unfortunately, so what, what you'd get right now is a glimpse of that. What you'll get is a glimpse. And this is um, an energy that I think has come into effect about a week ago and will continue for the next two to three weeks. Um, as I've mentioned, it may also surface again around next year, March, April. Um, it's a sense of not being able to discern between what is real and what is not. And so you need to then take a look at yourself and ask yourself, is this person um, real in my life? What is the relationship? Is, what is the real relationship versus what I expect for the relationship or what I hope for the relationship to be? And where is this, uh, where, and to, to be able to differentiate between the fantasy and actually the reality of the situation. And so this is an important aspect as well. Another part of the energy that would be surfacing at the moment is a sense of longing. You might have thought that you've gotten over someone. You might have thought that you've, um, uh, that you've moved on from someone. And this, you know, astrologers would say this has to do with the Venus retrograde. Um, I'm not an astrologer, so I can't tell you that. But this is the energy that I pick up from the ethers. Uh, basically, you there's a sense of longing for somebody, missing somebody, wishing that they were in your life, wondering how they could be in your life, thinking about replaying the events that took place between you, the words that were said between you, dreaming about them. You might find that you dream about them more often. You might find that their thoughts, uh, th thoughts of them just pop into your mind when you're busy with something else. And you'll be asking yourself, well, I thought I'm over this because this happened already for like two or three years. And I thought now I've moved on from this. But um, here it comes again. And uh, the need uh, to reevaluate this the, 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 the service or the purpose that this person had in your life is why you're feeling this right now. So it's important for you to see uh, or to rather for you it's important for you to feel what it is that you're feeling right now and understand, Look, look back at why the person's coming to your life. Look back at how you've changed since the person's coming to your life. What has changed in your life? How has your perspective changed? How has your perspective on love changed? What is it? How, how do you view love differently? How are, do you understand love now that that person's coming to your life? And when you miss this person, when you're longing for this person who is not in your life right now, I think it's important for you to reevaluate that and uh, reevaluate your way of loving and asking yourself, do I really need this person in my life? Or have they come back to remind me of what I've learned and to reinforce those teachings and to reinforce those lessons and therefore uh, to take this to the next level? So then to find the holes, so to say, uh, of the... In, in the relationship or not not in the really well yeah to see the holes in the relationship but to, and to see it for what it is but also to understand where's where the holes in your love for this person because you obviously um have been taught a lot about love this person's come into your life to teach you about love and uh it's been a very hard lesson for, for some of you and for others of you it's been um, more of, of a frustrating lesson but uh, to understand where is it that you can take this idea of love or your perception of love your, your manner of loving your ability to love your this love that you have to the next level and um, this has a lot to do with conditional and unconditional love as well so look at where there's been conditions placed look at where it, the idea of you being with this person brings you so much joy um, and that is the condition for your happiness and look at what is wrong with that uh, because I think that in for the message that this message particularly applies to those people who haven't heard from their partners for two to three months or longer in some cases although I don't I do think like two to three months is is the the average time and you've got to ask yourself 
Like, do you really want to be with this person? Do you actually need this person in your life? And even if you don't know the answer to that right now, you got to understand uh, what the lessons are in this, in it for you. Um, what, it, yeah, what it is that they've come into your life for. And so that's the third energy. I hope I'm being articulate enough here. Uh, the fourth energy uh, has to do with the sense of uh, yourself. It has to do with love, but self-love. It has to do with those, those the, there may be some of you who will be sort of um, uh, feeling down going in a downward spiral, feeling a bit depressed. For those of you who suffer from dep depression and you know this feeling, you know where you're heading to, you might have felt yourself um, plateauing for a while in a good space and now you may find yourself spiraling downwards again. Or f but but uh, this coming from the fact that you are loving someone and the love is not reciprocated or you don't know or you've reached a dead end um, in your love and you're not really sure of how to proceed with this. Um, take time out for you to feel what you're feeling. Yeah, don't, don't push away these emotions. Don't hide from them. Just feel the feelings that you have and acknowledge them. Journal if you can. Um, it's very hard to keep a gratitude journal during these times because it's very hard just to be able to cope with daily activities or just being able to keep a, a positive mindset for more than an hour or, or even half an hour, or even a minute. Uh, and those of you experiencing this know what I'm talking about. But um, it, I'm acknowledging this because this is one of the energies that will come up uh, in, in feeling the loss of the past, in feeling losses that may have occurred 20 years ago or even 15 years ago, 18 years ago, uh, or even three years ago, um, seven years ago. It's, it's irrelevant, the time frame. But there's a sense of an acute feeling of loss that leads to this, uh, this downward spiral that you might be experiencing. And uh, this has a lot to do with self-love. It has a lot to do with nurturing oneself. It has a lot to do with giving oneself what it is that you wish that your partner would give you okay so those are the four elements of the energies that are coming up right now there is more uh there has been more last week when uh this was brewing and i was thinking i should make a video about this but i didn't actually uh make the video at the time and my guides uh, and, and the spirit world uh, that i connect to for this energy tells me that it's no longer relevant it was relevant for last week so um I think that that is, um, yeah, that is basically what it is. So to summarize, um, the f what some people who are in relationships may be seeking to reestablish boundaries with with your partner. Um, secondly, there may be a sense of um, delight or a sense of something that's unreal that pervades your perception of love right now. So try to uh, separate the fantasy uh, from the reality or what you expect or what you hope from your relationship from the actual relationship as it stands at this moment. And then um, thirdly, you... Um, gosh, I've forgotten the third one. <laughs> so, um, well, fourth, the fourth one is seek to love yourself when you feel a downward spiral when you're feeling that pull to downward seek to love yourself and uh what was the third one um i have sincerely forgotten it but you've heard this video so go back and and uh you could go back obviously and 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 listen to it again um i'm i'm just uh doing this video as a channeling and so uh i don't often remember anything that i say here i've got to go back and uh, listen to my own videos if i want the, the information myself um it's uh, some of these energies some of these things uh, come up for me during the week or 
as I'm doing other things and uh, I'm advised to spread the message or, or share this information but I never remember it unfortunately so uh, yes this what I've just told you now is completely gone from my mind again and uh, yeah ap ap apologies for that so I'd like to say thank you once again for coming by stopping by listening to this and uh, I hope it does help in some level I hope that it actually helps to bring clarity it helps to bring peace and uh, healing and harmony in your lives so um, lots of love for me and blessings abound uh, for me and Kismet Rising